Does the color of your period blood matter? Like, should it always be as red as the scrubs I'm wearing today? Let's talk about it. Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Dr. Jennifer Lincoln, board certified OBGYN, author, educator, wearing the red scrubs in honor of the topic we're talking about today. Go ahead and like, subscribe, turn on the bell so you never miss an upload. Question I get all the time, I see it on social media all the time is, does the color of your period blood matter? Is it like this biohack thing that you need to be investigating the color of? And if it changes, does this indicate something terrible about your body? And if you listen to the influencers and you buy this supplement or do this detox, will it make it all better? I got you today. Okay, I wanna reassure you because that's what I'm about here at this channel is not freaking you out and that it is normal for your blood of your period to change throughout your cycle and sometimes month to month and almost always it's perfectly normal. But let's talk about the different colors of the period rainbow starting with bright red. This is entirely normal. You will often see this at the very beginning of your period with spotting and then the heaviest flow. This is just what it is. It's your body shedding the lining of the uterus and that bright red blood coming out and it's totally normal. What about dark brown or even black blood? Is that normal? The answer is Usually, yes. <laughs> so blood oxidizes. So the iron that's in it, when it's exposed to air longer, it turns darker. So this often signifies older blood. So you'll see it at the end of your period, or you know that really annoying time when you think your period's done, and then you don't bleed for a day. And then the next day you have some spotting and it's that like old darker color, that's normal. But what about pink or light red blood? Is this a sign that something is wrong with your hormones or your period? Honestly, usually pretty normal. And you might see this at the very beginning or sometimes even at the very end. And this is usually blood mixed with a little bit of cervical mucus. It's really all it often is. You might see it on lighter flow days or you might see it when you think your period's totally done and then you have some heavier activity like maybe you exercise or you have sex and then you see some of that. Now if it is always this color or you're worried you're like this is not normal for me then absolutely feel free to, to see one of us and go ahead and get checked out but I want you to know that most times it's fine. What about orange period blood? Orange are glad we're talking about it. That's like the worst joke I've ever had on this channel. And I'm sorry, I'm sorry you had to witness it, but we're gonna keep going. <laughs> so it can be normal. Sometimes it's that same red blood mixed with mucus, but it could also be the sign of a potential infection. And no, you cannot look at the color of your period blood or your discharge and absolutely know what infection you have. It's just not that easy. I wish it was, but it's not. But yes, it could be a sign of something like bacterial vaginosis or something else. So it is really, really important, especially if you've got other symptoms like itching or discharge that doesn't smell right, to come on in and get checked out and not to self-treat because a lot of times you need prescription medications to really get rid of this. Okay, this is the one I get asked all the time. Does the color of your period blood indicate a hormone imbalance? Like you will see here, and I have seen some variation of this on Instagram or Pinterest or other places. And what really blows me away is the confidence, the confidence with which these people post this. And yet they often have no medical training, but they do have a program, do have a detox or a supplement, or they're gonna tell you it's your birth control. Um, they sure do, or they have a course. But I want you to know, I don't even know what hormone imbalance means when they reference that because that's not a medical diagnosis. Now, oftentimes they will say something like PCOS. PCOS is, is complex and there's not just one kind. And, and I wish it was that easy that we could look at your blood and say, you have PCOS. It, it, no, you know, and this whole thing of like estrogen dominance and progesterone dominance. Yes, at different times in your cycle, there's gonna be higher and lower levels of estrogen and progesterone as you can see here. And this idea that just looking at your period blood somehow tells you about that is a little overblown. So this kind of like period blood tarot card reading, it's a bit much. And I think it really just targets people's fears. And it also targets an area where a lot of us weren't taught a whole lot about our bodies in health class or by our parents or even at the doctor's office. And this fills that void. So a lot of it is misinformation. And I would encourage you if you have any questions about, is this normal? about your period, 
take a picture of it and send it to us or come in and see us because really a picture is worth a thousand words. And if there's something concerning, we should take a look. I think I've covered all the colors I can think of, but any other thoughts, questions, concerns, go ahead and drop them in my comment section. As always, references and resources in the show notes. And I wish you normally colorful menstruating in your future. <laughs> Till next week. Bye-bye.